Welcome to the Pink Powerhouse Show, brought to you by Society Bites Radio, which is a part of the Radio Ear Network family. Today, I have a gentleman in the studio who uh, I, I actually I, I found out about him just through uh, mutual contacts and mutual friends, and we have mutual interests. And I wanted to bring him on the show because he will be the first, I think, guest that I've had who actually he started a business. Uh, but it's uh, through a franchise, and I think that's a whole a whole different animal uh, than um, starting it off without any set rules and regulations and formalities. So, but let me tell you a little bit about himself, uh, about him, I should say. His name is John Reed. Uh, people who grew up with him call him Pumpkin. I hope he's not mad that I said that. <laughs> he was born in Arcadia, Florida. Uh, he has always been an outdoorsman. He absolutely loves hunting and fishing, and uh, he's always been into fitness, and his actual career started while he was enlisted in the U.S. Army. John quickly learned that you can do elite training, and um, it comes from discipline and proper nutrition. He also realized that if you have those intact, you can accomplish any physical challenge. When he returned from the military, um, he still had this passion for um, fitness and physical challenges. And so he decided that he wanted to start competing uh, in, the, uh, in, the, um, in the sport of bodybuilding. His first show was, Europe, was, was the Europa Games. Uh, and although he enjoyed the experience and he enjoyed pushing his body to the limit and also just kind of testing, it, it is a, doing those shows and preparing, is, he, we'll talk about that, is, is, is physically challenging, but it's definitely emotionally challenging. Although he appreciated that, he says he has no desire to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> what he won, I'm done. <laughs> he said he learned a lot though through that experience, uh, and he also learned a lot about the business side of the fitness community. And so that led him to wanted him to join to do his own thing and open his own business. And so that he's done, and um, now he's able to teach people about being healthy. Um, and he's you know taking his charge up on defeating the ongoing issue of obesity here in America. He is a proud owner of an Anytime Fitness in the Orlando area. And um, I'm just so thankful that he took it upon himself to actually drive here to, um, to do this interview one-on-one. Because I think sometimes it's a lot to be said when you can actually feed off of somebody's energy. And that he definitely has. Um, so with that, um, I want to kind of open the floor. And I want to say welcome and thank you for How was the traffic, by the way? No, I ain't that bad. But I know we're back. Be something yeah, else. I know. <laughs> Maybe you can stop by your folks' house. <laughs> you still got family in Arcadia. No, I, well, Sean and Tanya live right around the corner. Not the oh, family. yeah, yeah. Right, right. Oh, are you related to Tanya's my, Sean's my cousin. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, Tanya. yeah, so Tanya, yeah, have, he's yeah. coming to your house. <laughs> no, I have, I see your, your gym, and I, I have found you. Because yeah. I see, I think she's working out, and here, and everything, and I said, what, you look different. What you doing? Oh, you know what what I mean? Tanya, yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, and she had lost all this weight and everything, and then after I scrolled down her, stay, uh, her, her uh, Facebook, and I saw you. Yeah. And I see how you do things, I, I, I give you props. Oh, well, I'm thank you. you. You got to. Not even a lot of space, but you do so much. You oh, know what I, mean? I appreciate and that. And I told people it ain't, what, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't how big your space is. It's what you can do. You know yeah, what it's mean? how you, you utilize do, the space. Yeah, That's you, absolutely. You excellent. Excellent. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. It, uh, it's been, you know, you learn a lot and you you, 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 you streamline things based upon your clientele and yeah. your needs. And so yeah. I think I may do things a little differently than somebody else. But I do what works for works. for That's the people. Not, yeah, I, but I appreciate that. that anyway, this is not about me. It's about you. Uh, <laughs> no, because no, I, I have no idea how. Yo, I envy you because yo. Oh. No, because you come in here like I see. 
So now I got ideas for my gym. Cause I still got room to yeah, put stuff in yeah, my gym and everything yeah. I got to do. Cause I got only got like a little, uh, little under four thousand square feet. Okay. And so I got you know yeah, you're, you're bigger than me. You know, yeah. Multiple mm -hmm. uh, uses for each each machine I have. So, right. You know, and I'm I'm just taking all this in because I'm gonna take some of your ideas with me. Oh, so. feel free, feel free. <laughs> I, I mean, I think you know, feel free, take pictures because I'm I'm gonna yeah, just feel yeah. free, take some pictures, snap some pictures. <laughs> But if you if you if you sell them, I'm gonna have to kill you. No, I'm we gonna spit that one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but let's let's talk about this. Let's get back to you in this bodybuilding. Um, you know, I don't think people people see the final product, right? They see right. people on stage. They see all these fabulous right. poses. I don't think people quite understand what's all involved. It, it truly is an art because at that point your body is a canvas and so you're being judged on certain things, right. balance and all that stuff. So it truly is an art and, and, and so you're a work of art. But the, the discipline and the consistency and the monotony of what you have to do to get to that point, talk about that process. Well, a lot of people go to the shows and they say like, you know, they see the finished product. Yeah. But to get there is a whole new world. And sometimes people get there to Different ways, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, a, it's a very dark world in that world, too. It's a very dark world. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Like some people go this way, some people go this way. You mean in terms of like steroid, steroid use? Steroid use okay. and everything. You know? okay. And not even for guys, the girls, too. Yeah, wow. You know what I mean? okay. So it, it's just a different world, a nature of the beast. But people like at me, like, oh, you took, you know, do I take this and take that? And I'm like, no. Nah. So when I was, I was 165 pounds for years, you know? Okay. And then in the military, you know, after they should eat. You know what I mean? You could do anything you eat. You know what I mean? Food is everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at my age, my my, my level, my testosterone level is still high because I'm an active person. Right. You know what I mean? People who, who testosterone level get low, people just don't do nothing. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And then they feel sluggish. They don't feel like doing stuff. Right. But when you go, go to one of these um, shows and you see the finished product, but to get there, I, I was like, first I was like on the fence. Should I do it? Shouldn't do it. And all of a sudden, like, like six weeks before the show, and I was like, no, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Because it took me. Like 16 years to get like this. People thought I was doing all this. No, it took me that many years, and I didn't know how to eat. That was my mm. biggest thing. My jeans, like, it's big. You know what I mean? But you got to put the food in. You so so what you're food. saying, from a, uh, naturally, genetically, you, you're not, you weren't predisposed to be a big person. You were small. I was But, but I you was, had to really understand how food, food impacted works. you and what, how, for you to have the final product in it. Because he's, he's a very muscular person. If, if you, you guys can't see him, so <laughs> you would never think that, his natural body type yeah. without, you know, constantly fueling the right way, yeah. you wouldn't think that he would have problems. I did. I did like, what, what it took me like 12, 13 years. 12, 13 years. Just mm. to get like this. Uh, and then people like, I said, no, you just see, like people who know me for a long time, they see me from this way, this way, this way, instead of going to the gym seven days a week, eating six, seven times a day. Even though I'm not hungry, I kept eating. Yeah, because you know I mean? you're and trying then, to put on the right, right kind of mass. Right. Yeah. Well, I wake up in the middle of the night and I eat. You yeah, know what I mean? And, yeah. and stuff like that. And it took forever. And then, like me, I don't even work out that much no more because of, of my gym. And then I still keep the You still keep the, yeah. I did it that way. I didn't take all the crazy drugs or whatever. Because you could tell when people take a lot, they, they, they lose it quickly. Quick, mm. quick. And I'm glad I didn't went that dark road because, you know, some people just can't get off. You yeah. know what I mean? And they do come crazy stuff. You know, the gym I attend, you see guys like big on top, little legs, but they, <laughs> yeah, anyway, that drives, you know, I know that drives me nuts. Yeah, so, so but at these shows though, like they go to a lot. I lost six weeks. I lost twenty two pounds. Six, six weeks, weeks lost twenty two pounds. pounds. After I did that show, they had to help me to the car. They had to put me in the car because you just you were I just was it was exhausted. I yeah. ate grill. I grill. I grilled. I grilled the chicken thighs, mm -hmm. rice, asparagus, and some kind of fruit or nuts. I ate that six times a day six weeks so I, I don't think people truly <laughs> understand that so let's talk about that let's talk about that because i think people don't really understand how it's not necessarily a pleasurable experience preparing for these mm. shows and i don't think people realize that so you know people you know people have a hard time with eating and then they look at people that you know it unless you're willing to really compromise taste <laughs> right they call sauce yeah taste sauce yeah i had to get sauce every day this, kind of sauce terrier sauce ketchup barbecue sauce, whatever you could and he it. literally ate the same thing he said he ate chicken thighs yeah. asparagus white asparagus white asparagus and, that's hard to find. <laughs> and then you say rice and rice and and rice, and, uh, and, and some nuts right and some nuts and uh some kind of fruit in this case i did get you need you, yeah. you need some yeah and so yeah. that was that was his meal every meal for six weeks. That's breakfast. That's that's <laughs> yeah. dinner. That's that's, that's everything. everything. 
And so that's that's the kind of discipline and that's the kind of of, of consistency that it takes to be at that level. And you dropped what 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 body what body percent fatty do you think gonna, you were think at that six, point? Six percent. I was six I was shredded. Wow. I looked it better after the show. Why I, is that? I, because I think well, you, you dehydrate. Yeah, I was just saying, with the water, so it's, the, it's the loss yeah. of the water, and, you and that's wanna, another reason why yeah. you're exhausted. Because that's another thing they do. They have to try to because they want to show the have these muscles just kind of rip, yeah. and so they have to dehydrate themselves. And no salt, and yeah, yeah, and then like and the saltness, and uh, and then like just before you go on the show, you take some sweet, you get some candy, in you, and then I just make it brush up, make everything pop. Yeah, you know what I mean, but to me, I if I had known, I know now. I would wait. I would stop the diet. Then get the show. You know how to cover because that's when you really see your, your definition of yourself. But because everybody look for that shredded, grainy look, but that ain't winning shows. You know what I mean? That you know what? That's interesting. Somebody else just told me. I think on a, a previous show, and I talked to somebody else that they, the same thing that you just said. Like they did one show, but they did another show like a couple weeks afterwards, and they did better in that right. second show. Right. And what you just said, I mean, you basically are saying exact same thing that they said. Yeah, we look for the grainy look, but they look yeah. for the grainy look. But you, every but every judge different. Yeah, you got to find out what you know what they looking for. But you never know because they all yeah. different people. And you go in this city, you go in this city. So it just it's a lot of work and a lot. Of, it costs a lot to do it too. Yeah, you know what I mean, you got to be really on the budget. You really got to go to meat markets. You got to look at what you're eating at, and and well, you know. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like you get with some people who's training for the show, they intentions might be to make you lose because they want to win. You know what uh, I mean? So you can't be. Yeah. You gotta be a solo person. You can't be with a group. You can't. You know what I mean? Because everybody they got. You know they beat their chest when they come in. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And mm-hmm. then they anti-social just for a show because they. You know that's mm-hmm. God's deal. That, they, yeah. they, and the women also too. Yeah, I can, you know I can yeah. see that. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. So you you did the show one and one show one and done. one and done, but I can't I can't even imagine. Um, and so now, so you went from the show, and then what happened after that that kind of pushed you into wanting to open your own gym? Because I see a lot of people just going the wrong way with it. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. like I, we don't do like one thing about people who who work out and stuff like a lot of them they're not the elite people. They're not the, the you know, the big paying jobs and stuff like that. They're just everyday people who yeah. just want to feel good about themselves. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And so then, and I've seen that at a lot of shows. And then I said, like, uh, Bang, like, Bang came up a little quick. You know what I mean? But Bang just know how to talk to people. They make people feel good and they have a good time. Yeah. And then I took some of that ideas and I said, at first I said, I'm over to my own gym, John Reed. Yeah. Well, who going to come? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Who know you? You know yeah. what I mean? Who think you are? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and then so I got with the people and then uh, we got called Intercom Fitness and then we bought a um, a territory in Winter Park. Okay. But trying to find a, the right spot and cost efficiency and everything. Nah. You know what I mean? Because you're looking at some things like twenty seven, twenty thousand square feet. You know what I mean? In that area, you know, because it's just it's, 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 beast. Yes. And then um, getting denied when you do find a place is a, is another struggle. Yeah. You know what I mean, I I got denied. I got denied, and I got denied. Some of it just, some of it just like, you know, it's yeah. just who I am. You know what yeah. I mean? And then I got denied so many times to, I like, it's two years now. I two weeks. So I don't. I want people to hear that you 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 were trying for two years, two years. and with with constant denial, denial, and you did not give up. So that yes. that's some perseverance for you for people who are who are easily uh, dismayed or easily. Um, disappointed and say, oh, it, it must not be for me and I'm just going to try something different. You know, not many people can say that two years of being denied, that they can still go, you know, and yeah. try to continue to keep going. And so when did that, when did the first yes come? The, and was that first the, yes the one that you took? No. Okay. The, 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 the first yes came, but to I met the guy. Like, like yeah, the yeah. When I met the guy, he took care of me. And okay. The guy like like my friend is suing because he gets like like build out money when you get a place. You know, like they say, oh, I'm gonna give you this much money for build out. I'm gonna give you like this like um um give out build out money. Your rent gonna be such and such a square feet. And I was when they meet the person, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're like, what happened? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And it, you know they can say what they say, and I can say what I say, but what I believe in my heart, it was about you know you, mm-hmm. you did me because. You saw me for who me was, you know what I mean? You saw me for what I look like. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I didn't, 
that broke my heart. Yeah, that okay. broke my heart. So, so you had a yes, yeah. and then it turned yeah, into a no, no unexpectedly. And then, and, and, and